Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever episode of Star Talk. Um, this is a Star Wars podcast presented by yours truly. <laughs> um, yeah, and this is technically a Star Wars podcast, like I said. Um, first thing I want to mention is the Clone Wars Wave 1 of 2012. Now we didn't get any, let's just say, new figures from that wave. We got three brand new figures and they were not that good. Yes, the Cody is outstanding, and the Anakin's alright, and the Phase 2 Clone Trooper. Mm. Yeah, they're all quite good figures, but come on, Hasbro. Seriously. Like, the new Battle Packs as well included a Phase 1 hard case. Now, at this point in time, you'd be expecting not a Phase 1 hard case, but a Phase 2 hard case. Uh, like, yeah, because it's like... That was released way back in 2010, 2009, and it's now 2012. And that just really shows you how bad back uh, they've gone. Um, also, another thing I want to mention is the Vintage Collection Wave 1. I haven't managed to pick up any of them, but hopefully I can get one of them figures from Freestone or whenever I want. Like, uh, I believe um, there's Earth Maul with the ball hinge tips and... Uh, the lightsaber that you can get in half is pretty good as well. Um, the Quillian Voss, Quillian and Voss is good, and they're well. Yeah, I um, quite want to get him. And for Easter, I believe I'm either getting Padawan Anakin. Um, either I'm probably getting one of these two figures, Padawan Anakin or Naboo or Guard, because they are really good figures. Um, what else? The vintage collection wise, the Padme Medalla, kids that like play toys. If you, with action figures, if you're more into the word action, you're not going to get that from that figure. That figure is pretty laid back with the stuff, and um, it's not that really good. I believe it's only got swivel hips, so I believe there's no more articulation between the knees or ankles. I actually believe the bottom half, I'm not too sure, but the bottom, I think the bottom half is just a complete plastic bit. I think it's just a swivel waist. That just shows you how bad Hasbro are making their figures now. Yeah, the Darth Maul and Quinn and Voss have got amazing articulation. But seriously? Yeah. I think one figure I'm really wanting to see in the vintage collection is that um, Old Republic. That clone from the, the Old Republic. He looks so badass. He looks awesome. All the, uh, I think there's another figure from the Old Republic that looks pretty cool as well. Um... Uh, they look upcoming 2012 ones, I reckon they are going to look pretty darn cool. <laughs> um, what else? Um, I believe there's a new, uh, I believe the Art Trooper Commander's being re- released as well, so if you never got him, like I never got him, we can I'll get him now. Yeah. Um, what else to talk about? Not much, really. Oh, yeah, um... Let's talk about movie heroes. The movie heroes are quite bad. I'm not too keen on the movie heroes. I think I picked up a picked up a face to clone trooper and the articulation is really horrific. He's got uh, I don't, he's got no articulation in the wrists. It's swivel elbows and then the joint they're always coming apart and stuff. And the swivel shoulders it's horrific from Hasbro though. They're really, really lazy on that. And I think most, a better figure that I probably prefer in the movie heroes is probably the quite. <laughs> yeah, there's been um, Darth Maul released. But the articulation is rubbish. It's more like for kids and stuff, not display. It's not even. Yeah, it's actually more for display. The articulation is horrific and it's, it's not that good actually. Um, I was really expecting more from Hasbro this year, especially now they've poured a ton of. I mean, articulation into the vintage figures you expect to get that standard from the uh, movie heroes and clone wars but mm. also just to go back to the uh, clone wars the commander cody i've picked him up and the just one good thing about him is the ankle articulation i mean if you can remember back to um the 2010 mace windu he's been released i'll try to get a picture of him up right now and yeah he was really do you remember the ankle articulation where it didn't just go forwards and back? 
so it went side to side as well. Well, they've really, really starting the code and I think that looks pretty good as well. I mean, on my shelf, I'm just looking at Phase 2 Fine Trooper and Cody that look pretty cool as well with the, um, just together, they look cool. And uh, I think the vintage Cody and this Cody, I'm not too sure which is my favourite. I'd probably go for the Clone Wars, maybe because I prefer the look of the Clone Wars. I prefer the look of the animated clones, but, yeah, um, that face, I think you can argue about, is it? That's a matter of opinion, like everybody says. Um, class 1 fleet vehicles, I just want to talk about now. Um, I think they're pretty darn cool. Um, I picked up the phase 2 clones with back speed bike, I'll try to get a picture of it up, everything I've talked about, um. Yeah, and uh, people have been saying, oh, it's the same as the vintage collection one apart from the helmet. I don't want to get that. And um, let me just mention something. It's quite a lot different to the vintage one. Yes, they've added detail on the helmet. But also, it's the younger clone trooper sculpt um, by Bodie Taylor. It's under Timmy L. Morrison. Uh, the head sculpt based on Bodie Taylor. And... Uh, People keep saying, oh, it's so bad, oh, it's the same as the vintage. But he's got bold jointed wrists, just to mention. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's got bold jointed wrists, so uh, I know some people out there are absolutely packed with face two clones. So, mm, don't get any more if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, the park speed is exactly the same. I think it's just a repaint of the clones for Jesse one. Now, do you know... If you can remember back with the flimsy rod, that bit there that just went boing, boing, boing. I never picked up one of them back speeders, but the one with just a canopy across, that's actually what they what should be used in the clone was. And the flimsy rod ones should actually be used in the movie. So what do you think? Uh, they don't have a canopy in the movie. It's just like just a rod going across. Just a rod. Yeah, they are, uh, one thing I do like about um, this set is the fact about all the weapons that come with it. I mean, there's, there's five weapons altogether that come with it. There's two DC-15 rifle, uh, carbine pistols, two DC-17 rifles, and one of them uh, rocket launchers that was included with Commander Jet, a 212th Trooper from the Clone Wars, and it's all of them. And I just love that Hasbro have made it more worth its money by including all their weapons in mean, it. Pretty much, that's what kids like. Um, and the packaging, really, that looks awesome for these new ones. I love the Darth Maul packaging, it must be one of my favourites. I mean, yeah, the 2011 was good, but this one's just gone poof, bye bye, it's flown into the river. It's really good, this pattern. I've just been looking at it. I just walked up to my desk over here. Um, but it's like the pattern has been released. It's so darn cool. I've just got the movie here as country pretty, and it looks awesome. I mean, the back of it, the layout is substantially different. It's really, really good. I mean, I'm, yeah, it's like, yes, some of the figures aren't as good. I mean, the repacks, uh, yeah, I'll, instead of a repack of, let's just say, maybe Plukun, or let's just say, maybe Cad Bane. Maybe we would like to see a repack of one of the older, rarer figures from 2011, maybe Commander Colt or Commander Wolf, maybe. I know I've got them both, but maybe it would be nice just to uh, redo them instead of the other ones. And also... Um, Instead of the shirtless Savage, I think it would have been nice to uh, release an armoured Savage in the 2012 packaging instead of that one. Because the shirtless Savage, Tungori, got an absolute ton of them in stock. And that's what uh, pretty, pretty much every Star Wars collector now has one of them. Even I have one. I mean, you, I found it in the UK. The UK is so darn let back on the Star Wars figures. And I found it in the UK and I was like, what the? And I got it. It's like the shirtless Savage is getting quite a common figure now. Um, I would have more preferred the armor Savage, mainly because I don't have it, but mm, maybe the price is Hasbro, it costs to make Hasbro. Yeah.
No. Um, one thing I do like around the new 2012 is um, the size of the packaging. Um, um, for you, those who don't understand me there, the width, the uh, the width of it, not the width of it, but um, the, I want to say depth of it. Yeah, the depth of it is a lot. It's a lot thinner than the 2011 ones, and that means they can fit a lot more onto the pegs. We don't have to be going round back and asking. Uh, excuse me, do you have any round the back? Yeah, I've got, I've got all these figures. We don't have to be asking for them to get them, so we can fit more on. I think that's quite a good idea for Marshall. So yeah, that's Star Talk episode one, done and dusted. So I hope I've got everything I wanted to talk about. And like I said, it's the first episode. I'll try to get some special guests on soon, but um, until next time, guys, I will see you soon. And I hope you enjoyed it. That's force Bye.